So good day, this will be the solution for our quiz one. So let's go over the concept part first. No? So yung first statement dito, physics statements that can only be strengthened through um, evidence. No? So strengthened through pieces of evidence. Yung key term natin dito, strengthened. Ang sagot natin dito ay theories. Blank pertains to anything that can be expressed quantitatively or can be measured. Ang sagot natin dito ay physical quantity. Time is an example of a scalar and blank quantity. So time, di ba? Uh, meron tayong nature at saka um, type of physical quantity. So we already mentioned here is scalar. Yung kasama ng scalar are vector. So the other one naman ay yung sa nature, yung fundamental and derived. No? So time is obviously a fundamental quantity. So next, a vector in blah blah is crossed with the second vector. Their product is so um vector and a second vector. Their product is even if wala siyang sinabi rito sa ating class, if it is a um scalar vector or uh, or, or if this is a cross vector, cross product, or um, tawag ito, cross product ba siya, or scalar product, makikita natin. No? So you have 0 i hat times 3 i hat. That's, that will just give you 0 i hat. So walang factor, diba? So 0 i hat lang yan. Then 3k times 0 j, wala lang din. So which means that we might need to... um we might need to cross it. No? So, I cross I, hindi pwede. I cross J. So, parang ganito class, no? Um, 0 I hat plus 3 K hat times 3 I hat plus 0 J hat. So, 0 J hat times 3 I hat. Ah, sorry. 0 I hat times 3 I hat. Uh, wala, 0. 0 times 0 is 0 as well. 3 times 3 is 9. So, K cross I. No? So, K cross I. And then you have 3K times 3, 0 G, which is 0. So, this is simply 9 times K cross I. This is simply positive 9 J hat. So, sabi ko dati, I'll show you the shortcut. So, isulat nyo lang siya as I, J, K, I, J, K, I, J, K. So, I, I cross J is K. J cross K is I, K cross I is J, and so on. Then pagpabalik na naman, K cross J is negative I, J cross I is negative K, and so on. Yard spans, interest, or real, are all examples of British or imperial system. Blank quantities are those that are independent. So these are um, fundamental. And Whereas blah blah are dependent. So these are your derived. Next is a dimensionless vector. So ang pinakasagot natin dito ay unit vector. Single vector whose effect is the same. This is resultant. And analytic method is also known as component method. And blank is an observable phenomena. So this is your law or principle. Let's go over the other um, questions before we go to problem solving. I think mostly the same. So, um, yeah, mostly the same. So, skip ko na siya. Ah, let's go to this one. Set C, no? Physics is an experimental science that requires blank, which is a cornerstone of discovering loss. So, this is observation. Blank pertains to anything. Ah, we answered this one. Torque is an example of a vector and ang torque natin is simply R cross F. So, this is derived quantity. Okay, and then we also answered this one already. Then, number six, blank is the closeness of measured value to a theoretical value. So, this is accuracy. And then, closeness of all measured values. This is precision. And we're done with this. And then this one naman, polygon method. So this is known as your graphical method or your head to 
scale method. Okay. For the GE set, it's the same with others for the first part, except for this one. Um, so again, we answered this already. This one naman is a measure of perpendicular projection. So this is cross or vector product. Okay, pressure. Pressure is force over area. It's a scalar quantity and a derived quantity. Direction of a vector is south of east. And so the I and G ordinate is basically positive, negative. We're done with this. We're done with this too. Okay. Okay, let's go to the problem solving. So number one, assume that there are two cars uh, for every five people in the Philippines and that each car is driven an average of 5 times 10 raised to 13 micrometer per year and that the petrol consumption of an average car is 8 times 10 raised to 3 ml per day. No, Assume that the population of the Philippines is 114 million. How many liters of petrol are used in one day? For other questions, it's the same. Pero yung tinatanong niya naman ay I used in one month, no? And, uh, okay, same lang din dito, use in one day. And then this one is different, no? So, um, ang sasagutin ko na lang ay yung used in one day. So, uh, same process lang naman to ko sakaling sasagutin niyo yung used in one month. So, binigyan niya tayo ng given na 114 million people in the Philippines. Okay, so there are 114 million and million has six zeros. So this is 114 times 10 raised to 6 or basically this is 1.14 times 10 raised to 8 people okay, in the country. And among these people, two cars are present for every five people. So hindi siya, hindi nyo bibilangin yung um yung car na meron sa kada tao, ang sinabi niya lang, basta sa limang tao, kumbaga, if you're going to survey five people, two of those people, or among those five people, may magsasabi na meron silang car. At dalawa yun, yung number. So, uh, per five people, two cars. Okay? So, ibig sabihin sa limang tao, merong dalawa doon na may tig isang sasakyan. Or pwede na sa limang tao na yun, may isang tao na dalawang sasakyan. So, basta for two cars, five people. So, you have five people. You have two cars. Okay? And then, this car, sabi dito ang goal natin, take note, ay hahanapin tong liters of petrol. no So, ang sabi dito ay, uh, yung car na yan ay driven 5 times 10 raised to 3 kilometers per year. Pero wala tayong makita ang kilometers or year dito. So, we're going to skip this part first. And then, sabi niya, yung petrol consumption down ng car is 8 times 10 raised to 3 ml per car per day. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, times 1 car uh, per day can consume... 8 times 10 raised to 3 ml. Okay? And alam natin that 1 ml or 1000 ml is simply 1 liter. So we're going to solve this one. And this will give us, cancel out yung cars, ml, ml. So this will give us liter per day. Okay? This will give us liter per day. So meron tayong 1.14 times 10 raised to 8 times 2 times 8 times 10 raised to 3 divided by 5 times 10 raised to 3. Okay, so this will give us 3.65 times 10 raised to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3.65 times 8 liters per day. Okay, so notice hindi natin nagamit yung kilometers kasi saan nyo naman ikakancel yung kilometer, di ba? Wala namang binigay na kahit anong given na pwede yung pag-cancelan ng um, kilometers, okay? So, let's proceed to the next one. Consider three force vectors. 
And these are the three force vectors we're in item 2, no? Sabi niya dito, use the analytical method to determine the magnitude and the direction of the resulting vectors. Okay? So let me just erase this. Okay, so you have vector A, vector B, and vector C. Resultant yung hinahanap. So hindi nyo na kailangan mag-isip. Ipag-add nyo lang to basically A plus B plus C. No? And so, ang A natin has I hat component and J hat component. Nakita ko doon sa problem solving noon na sinove nyo pa kung ano yung value ng A, B, and C. You don't have to, no? Kasi they already gave us the I and J component. So, yung I mo ay 3. And then, the J here is negative 3. Ang I dito ay 1. Here naman is negative 5. And then, here's the C is negative 3 halves. And um, the J is 9. So, these are the components already. You don't have to solve for the angle or for the magnitude. No, That's a waste of time. And we're just going to add them. So, you have the resultant. Along I, so you have 3 plus 1 is 4 minus um, 3 halves. No? So 4 minus 3 halves is simply 2.5. Okay, so you have 2.5 I hat. And this is negative 3 plus negative 5, negative 8 plus 9. This is simply 1 J hat. Okay, so ito na yung X component and ito na yung Y component. Or this is already your I hat component and your J hat component and we simply get the uh, magnitude so uh, r is equal to 2.5 squared plus uh, 1 squared so this will give us 2.69 so magnitude of r is 2.69 times 10 raised to 0 dimes and the angle would be tan inverse of 2.5 over 1 gives us theta is equal to 68.2 degrees. 2.5 over 1 yun nilagay ko. So positive, positive. This is is of north. Okay. Number 3. So... We go to number three. Eric is camping with Mark and Sean. The three um, friends wanted their privacy and pitched their tents away from each other. Eric's tent is 1 to 1 meters, 23 degrees east of south of Mark. Hello, baby. So, in item number three, we're going to um, switch. No, i sorry. Um, we're going to visualize what's going on. So, meron tayong three characters, si Eric, Mark, and Sean, no? And sabi dito, Eric's tent is 1 to 1 meters south of Mark. So, relative to Mark. So, gawan mo na natin ang position si Mark. So, ito si Mark. And then, 1 to 1 meters, um, 23 degrees east of south. Asan ba ang east of south? Nasa fourth quadrant. So, somewhere here is the position of Eric. No? So, paganya. And this is 23 degrees east from south. So, ito. Okay. Oops. Ayan. So, this is mark. And then, 23 degrees. Ayan. And then, sabi niya naman dito, Sean pitched his tent 132 meters northwest of mark. So, northwest, that is in the second quadrant. So, this is somewhere here. So, this is Sean naman. So, Yung drawing ko ay hindi talaga accurate. Ayan. So, this is 45 degrees. Kasi ang keyword natin ay northwest. Okay? So, what is the distance between Eric and Sean? So, pinapahanap pa itong distance between Eric and Sean. And if Sean wants to borrow a tool from Eric, in what direction? So, from Sean to Eric, saan daw siya pupunta? So, ito yung scenario natin, no? So, paganyan. Okay, so as you can see here, kailangan nating malaman kung alin yung naka-head to tail. So pangalanan ko to as A, 
B, and C. Okay? So, makikita ninyo na ano ba yung naka-head to tail? A and B, vector A ito, and vector B ito, ay head to head. Uh, B and C ay head to tail. So, ibig sabihin, ang operation natin dito ay B plus C is equal to A. Okay? B plus C or C plus B is equal to A. Now, yung unknown natin ay si B. Which means that B is simply A minus C. So, uh, gawan natin ng table yan. You have A, C, B. Okay? Ang A natin ay yung distance from Mark to Ari. That is 1 to 1 meters. Uh, 23 degrees east of south. So, ito yung 23. So, this is basically 270 plus 23, no? Or 293. And then, yung um, vector C naman natin, as you can see here, is the distance or the vector from Mark to Sean. And yung kay Mark to Sean is 132 meters. Northwest, that is 45. So you have 90 uh, plus 45. This gives you 135. And yung B, yan yung hahanapin natin. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we're using method 2 here, no? tabulation. And so meron tayong I hat component and J hat component. So we have, oops. 1 to 1 cos of 293 is 47.27 or 28. And 1 to 1 sine of 293 is negative 111.38. And then for 132 times cosine of 135, this is negative um, 93.38. 38 and of course yung isa ay of the same value pero positive na no? 93.338 naman. So to get B, I hat and J hat we're going to do B I hat is equal to A I hat minus C J hat, ah, C I hat din pala and then B J hat is simply A J hat minus C J hat. So we're going to subtract. So you have um, let me solve this. Minus 132. So this will give me negative 46.06. And then the other one. Ay, mali, 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 mali. No, 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 sorry, I'm wrong. Um, mali. Sorry, this should be 140. 140.62 and then this gives me negative 204.72. I'm not sure if the values are correct. But I'm weird better anyway. Okay, the process is like this. So you simply have A47 minus negative 93. So I think that will give you 140. And the negative 111 minus 93 will give you negative 204. So we can now get the magnitude of B by getting the square root of the sum of the squares plus 204.72 squared. Okay, so you have answer now 140.62 squared. Okay. So, this will give me 248.36 meters. Meaning to say, ganito kalayo yung lalakarin ni Sean to Eric. 248 meters. And then, oh, sobrang layo, di ba? For, for friends. And um, for theta naman, tan inverse of, again, if it's up to you if you want I over J or J over I. So, say for example, I use J over I. So, I have tan inverse of um, 204.72 over 140.62. So, this gives me 55 degrees. 55.5 degrees, no? 
So my final answer is um, Sean will have to walk 2.48 times 10 raised to 2 meters, 55.5 degrees. Um, I have J, which is south, and um, I, which is positive east. So this is south of east. Then let's go to number four. Uh, number... Okay. Um, same lang din naman dito, no? It's the same with this one. Okay, so we now go to a, a plane leaving the airport in Galisteo. So same question siya for set A and set B. Ang pinagkaiba lang nila ay yung last item. So let's solve the um, number four. A plane leaves the airport in Galisteo. So say for example, this is the airport. And flies 145 kilometers, 43 degrees east of north. Okay, so it's in quadrant 1. So something like this. This is 43 degrees east of north. So east from north. And then changes direction to fly 250 kilometers. Um, 75 degrees south of east. So in fourth quadrant, no? So paganto siya. This is 75 degrees south of east, 250 kilometers. Um, when the airport sends out a rescue crew, in which direction and how far should the crew fly to go directly to the plane? So, syempre, galing sa airport yung crew, and they will go towards this direction. So, say, for example, this is A, B, and C, and the relationship, therefore, is A plus B equal to C. Okay, so let's write that down on the table. You have A, B, uh, and C. Uh, another way pala that I did not um, teach you, you know, on vectors is once you have already, once you already had this one, no, A plus B is equal to C, you can hope not to do the methods, no, the method one, method two. There's actually an easier method three to do it. Um, so the method three is basically since I know that A plus B is equal to C, then I can automatically get CI from um, AI plus BI. So we already know this, di ba? And yung AI natin, parang mix ito ng method two at method one, no? Yung AI natin, alam ko na dapat cosine ng angle from X yung kukunin ko, di ba? So this one must be... Um, 47. Okay, so I'm going to use here, uh, anong A ko ulit? 145. So I'm going to use here 145 cosine of 47. 145 cosine of 47 plus yung B ko is 250. 250 cosine of, this one is negative 75. So, para automatic na, di ba? So, you have CI is basically 145 cos 47 plus 250 cos of negative 75. Okay? So, you can do this if you are you feel confident already, no? Working on the angles. So, you have CI 163. And for CJ, we simply have uh, 145 sine of 47 plus 250 sine of negative 75. So, um, this will add 145 sine of 47 plus 250 sine of negative 75. I hope I'm getting the correct answer. Wait, let me just resolve it. Time sine 47 plus mm -hmm, 250 sine of negative 75 yeah okay so you have negative 135.44 kilometer kilometer okay so this is already your cj hat and ci hat and from here i can already get the magnitude of c 
and that is simply 163.59 squared plus 135.44 squared. And this will just give me 212.38 kilometers. And theta is simply time inverse of, again, it's up to you, J over I. So this is just tan inverse of 135.44 over 163.59. And this gives me 39 degrees, 39.6 degrees. I have um, positive X, so east, negative uh, Y, so this is south. This is 39.6 south of is and therefore the crew has to fly at a distance of 2.12 times 10 raised to 2 km at the direction 39.6 degrees south of east. Okay, let's go to item number five. A pyramid has a height for it one fit. So this one is very easy. And a base that covers an area of 13 acres. Find the volume of the, the pyramid in cubic meters. So a volume of pyramid natin is simply base times height over 3, okay? Your base is in acres, so this is 13 acres, but we know that acre is 43,560 feet squared. So times 1 acre is 43,560 feet squared times, so this is your base, Diba? Because it's an area times the height, which is 481 feet times one third. No? So times one third, kasi this is BH over 3. So this will give me 13 times 43,560. I don't have to square the 43,560. Kasi yung unit na, yung naka square that, the feet squared. No? Times 481. Oops, 481. Divided by 3, this will give me a value 9079-3560 feet cube. But I want to convert this to meter cube. So I'll just write 9.08 times 10, 367 times 10 raised to 7 feet cube times, again, I know that 1 foot is 0 0.3048 meters. This is in cube. This is not in cube. So I have to cube everything. So times 0.3048 raised to 3. This will give me a volume, which is 2.57 times 10 raised to 3, 4, 5. Wait, I think there's something wrong. Wait lang ha. Mm. Wait, let me just um, go over it again. So it seems like this is really the answer. Like I went over, I have the correct formula. And then 13 times, one acre is 43,560. So 13 times 43,560 times 481. That's her base times height part over 3. So that will give you feet cube. And we want to convert it to meters. So 1 foot is 0 0.3048 meters. Yeah. Or was it? Um, so this will give me 2.55 times 10 raised to 6 meters cube. So, nawala na kasi class yung aking um, answer sheet for quiz 1. No? So, I don't know if these were the right answers that I was able to derive for those items. <clears throat> but anyway, let's proceed to the next item. So, again, for set A and set B, they have the same um, they have the same questions no mostly the same questions so for this one 
palitan lang natin yung item number 5, no? Item number 5 ng set A is this one. For set B, it's this one. No? Relatively a bit more difficult than set A. Okay. So let's proceed to the last one. Sabi dito, a cubic meter of aluminum has a mass of 2.73 times 10 raised to 3 kilograms. So, mass of aluminum is 2.70 times 10 raised to 3 kilogram if the volume of aluminum is 1 cubic meter. Okay? And then the other question is the same volume of iron. So, volume of iron, Fe, which is 1 cubic meter, has a mass of 7.86 times 10 raised to 3 kg. So, very obvious here that the iron is heavier than the aluminum. Find the radius of, may kulang dito, find the radius of uh, 2 centimeter solid, solid aluminum sphere that will balance a solid iron sphere on an equal arm balance. So, kung meron daw tayong 2 centimeter na solid aluminum sphere, ano daw yung magiging radius ng iron sphere na magbabalanse doon sa ating equal arm balance? There are many approaches to this problem, but I'll just show you yung pinaka, um, I think, easy, no? pinaka madali. So, I, or I'm not sure if it's really the easiest, easier one. Okay, so... Uh, ang kailangan nating malaman dito ay yung radius. And saan ba natin makukuha yung radius? Tanda natin class na yung V natin ay equal. Uh, and kapag ka-equal yung V natin, ito yung mass na gagamitin or ito yung mass na meron tayo per element. Now we know that it's a sphere. So ang uh, volume sphere is 4 thirds by R cube. Okay, 4 thirds by R Cube. So, paano natin kukuhanin yung radius ng uh, iron na dapat ay kaparehas sa radius ng um, aluminum sphere para pantay sila? So, dapat ang isipin nyo dito, yung mass ng aluminum natin ay dapat equal sa mass ng iron natin, no? Hindi natin titignan yung laki, but the mass itself, okay? So, ano ba ang equation na pwede natin i-relate kay mass at volume? That is your density, di ba? Density is mass over... Well, you don't have to do this, no? I'm just showing you kung ano yung ginagawa natin ngayon. Ano yung pwede natin gawin? So, ma density is mass over volume. So, for, that, for mass to be equal... Density times volume dapat. So, dapat density of aluminum times volume of aluminum is equal to density of iron equal to volume of iron. And yung density ng aluminum natin is simply ito. Kasi kilogram per meter cube. So you simply have 2.70 times 10 raised to 3 kg times ang volume ng aluminum hindi nyo ilalagay na 1 cubic meter. Okay. So, ito yung volume niya kung buo siya. No? Buo with this mass. Pero kasi yung volume lang na tinitignan natin ay yung meron lang specific na, na radius. No? Kung ang radius natin ay 2 cm, edi ito ay magiging 4 thirds pi r of aluminum cube is equal to uh, density ng iron is also this one. 7.86 times 10 raised to 3 kg times... 4 thirds by R of iron cube. Okay? In this way, makikita nyo na class na, ah, okay. So, we already have the R of the iron and the R of aluminum. So, we can simply cross out 4 thirds by and we're left with this equation. So, you have 2.70 times 10 raised to 3 kg R of aluminum cube is equal to 7.86 times 10 raised to 3 kg R of iron cube. Okay? Cancel out this one. And then, ang gusto nating makuha ay si RFE. So, we divide both sides by 7.86 times 10 raised to 3. And plug in tayo ng radius ng aluminum. 
So sabi dito, you have a 2 cm solid aluminum sphere. So pag ganito yung ginagamit, this means that this is the diameter. Which means that the radius that we're going to use is 1 cm. So you simply have 2.70 times 10 raised to 3 over 7.86 times 10 raised to 3. And this will give us the RFE cube. Then we get the cube root. So, uh, cube root of 2.70 times 10 raised to 3 over 7.86 times 10 raised to 3. And this will give us R is equal to 0 0.700 centimeter. Okay? So, yung radius ng ating iron is 0.700 centimeter. Does it make sense? that the radius of the iron is smaller than smaller than the aluminum. Yes, no? Kasi mas mabigat yung iron natin. So kahit mas maliit siya, mas mabigat siya. No? Mas dense siya. Compared to our aluminum, malaki siya. 2 cm yung kanyang diameter. So 1 cm radius. But it's not as dense as iron. So okay lang, no? So you have 0. 0.700. Okay. So we proceed to the next one. For this item, same lang din ulit as what we have discussed already. So we're on set C, no? Same lang din siya. Same lang din to. This is the same as the Sean and Mark, no? As you can see, pinag-iba-iba ko lang yung value. And then, same Lang din yung Galisteo. So, we're done with this. We're done. Uh, we move on to number 15. So, in the universe, the densest thing is the neutron star. So, set C. Kung mapapansin nyo, they have easier questions. No? Kasi sila yung unang nagtetest. So, this one's very easy. Number 4. No? Uh, number 15. In the universe, the densest thing is the neutron star. It's density is 2 billion tons per cubic inch. So you have 2 billion. Billion is 9. So times 10 raised to 9 tons per cubic inch. Uh, it would collapse into a black hole. What is the value in kilogram per cubic meter? If 1 ton, so 1 ton is 2,000 pounds and uh, 1 pound is 2.2 kilogram and we want to convert it to kilogram per cubic meter so tons cancel out pounds cancel out i'm left with kg at the top but at the bottom i still have cubic inch so i want to convert that one inch is basically 2.54 cm so which means that um so yeah, I will go in shortcut. So inch cube, inch cube din dapat. So this will cancel out. And to get rid of the cm to meter, I know that 100 cm is 1 meter. So times 3. Okay, so, ah, raise to 3 para matanggal ulit yung um, cm cube natin. So you have 2 times 10 raised to 9 times 2,000 pounds times 2.2 times 100 raised to 3 divide, uh, divided by 2.54 raised to 3. Tama ba? Yeah. Okay. So this will give me the answer na density is 5.37 times 10 raised to 17 kilogram per cubic meter. Okay. Now let's go to the GE set. Again, we're done with the first part. Uh, proceed dice of problem solving. Sabi dito, uh, an astrom is a unit of length equal to 10 raised to negative 10 meters and how many nanometers 
are in 55 angstrom. So, nanometer in uh, 55 angstrom. So, this is simply 55 angstrom times ang 1 angstrom daw is 10 raised to negative 10 meter. So, angstroms are used for very short distances. Like, for example, distance a between two electrons or the size of of an atom, no? so yun yung gamit niya. So, angstrom times 1 angstrom is 10 raised to negative 10 meter times um, we want to convert from meter to uh, nanometer. So, meter is 10 raised to 0, nanometer is 10 raised to negative 9. So, obviously, meter is larger. So, this is 1 meter. And so, ang katabi ng nano ay 10 raised to larger exponent minus a smaller exponent. So, you have 55, cancel out. You have 55 times 10 raised to negative 10 times 10 raised to 9, which means that we have 5.50 times 10. So, 9 minus 10 is 1. So, mali. 55. Fifty-five times ten raised to one nanometer, yung ating sagot, or basically this is five point fifty times ten raised to um two, okay, raised to two nanometer. Okay, and I'll leave it to you guys to work on femtometer. Uh, same process lang, no? Same process. And then, your item number two is the same as the previous ones. Number four, the plane is also the same. Universe is also the same. So, let's uh, solve this last one. Sabi niya, vector A has magnitude of 89 meters as it, and is in the XY plane at an angle of 127 degrees counterclockwise from positive Y axis. So, this is your positive Y. Counterclockwise is paganyan. So, from... Positive y, 127 degrees. Mm -hmm. So this is 90, which means that I need how many more? 37. So I need around 37 degrees here. And this is my vector A. Okay. And sabi niya, what are the magnitude and direction of a second vector B if the sum of A and B is in the x-axis? Okay, with magnitude 15 meters. Okay, so this is vector A and this is the resultant C. So, hinahanap niya sa atin, ano daw dapat yung magnitude and direction ni B para yung A plus B natin ay... Um, Nasa x-axis mismo. Okay? So, you have A plus B is equal to C. But we want to look for B. So, you have B is equal to C minus A. Again, class, you can use method 1, method 2. But um, I'll use method 3, the one that I just taught earlier. No, you must madali uh, for me. You must madali for me. So, BI, it's basically the same naman. No? So, BI is simply... Since it's just in the x, so this is simply 15 minus, I think A is 89, okay? So minus 89 cosine of, I have the angle 127 plus 90. So 127 plus 90, because this one is 127, this one is 90. So I have 127 plus 90, and for my BJ hat, um, there's no component of C, so this is 0 minus ang A ko naman is 89 sine of 127 plus 90. So this will give me 15 minus 89 times cosine of 127 plus 90. And this gives me 86.08. Uh, and for... Yeah, for BJ hat naman is negative 89 times sine of 127 plus 90. 
And this gives me 53.56. Now, both positive. So, this is east. This is north. To get the magnitude of B, this is simply square root of BI hat squared plus BJ hat squared. So, um, square root of the answer squared plus 86.08 squared. This gives me 101.38. Then for the theta, this is tan inverse again, J over I for me. So tan inverse of 53.56 over 86.08. This gives me 31.89 degrees north of east. So the final direction of vector B, therefore, is 1.01 times 10 raised to 2 um, meters in the direction 31.9 degrees north of east. Okay, so that's it for your quiz one.